seventh caution of the day has just come out at Martinsville Speedway. One involved is James Busher, but that's not the end of it. There are quite a few involved in this one. Look how much damage done to that Wolfpack rental truck. Well, and the same for Jeffrey Earnhardt. Look at that thing. It's tore all to pieces. Damn, man. We saw Justin Johnson in that wreck as well, along with Miguel Paluto. Yeah, the eights also. Or excuse me, that was uh, Nelson, Nelson P.K. PK Jr. Jr. You see, that's Jeffrey Earnhardt climbing out of the number one fuel doctor. Jeffrey had a good run going, ran up in the top ten for a good part of this race. Safety crews taking care of the drivers and trucks. Take another look or a look at what just took place. Just another chain reaction deal. Both these. There's, well, somebody had to come from a long way back to get in that wreck, it appears, Phil. Yeah, we haven't even seen the 31 yet or the one of Jeffrey Earnhardt. Matt, Matt Crafton. Crafton getting into the left for a quarter. Brad Sweet turning him around. I love that super slow motion shot. Sweet slides up the racetrack, blocks the track, and then problems happen but behind think, him as well. I think this might happen at the other end. Wow, this is the other end of the racetrack. Battling for space, James Busher was trying to get to the inside of Jeffrey Earnhardt going down in the, in the corner. Wow, That's look at the that very thing. fastest part of the racetrack when these guys got together. And you could see Jeffrey Earnhardt was trying to, attempting to spin that truck around, and he just ran with it wide open in the outside wall. He had those back tires spinning when he hit that wall. These brakes are really, really good on these trucks, and you go down in the corner, you stand on the brakes, and they stop. When they're backwards or sideways, they don't stop that well. They also don't stop very well if you got the gas down. Out inside, 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 dig, 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 dig. Chase, Chase Mattioli wondering in what happened there. He, he really wasn't that much of a part of it. Watch this second incident. It looks like James Busher gets on the inside of Jeffrey and just maybe will hops. But did you see that, Phil? Yeah, wow. He was wide open, spinning the tires into that outside wall. It was James Busher climbing out of his truck. And Jeffrey Earnhardt also had already climbed out of that number one. Phil, watch this yeah. again. You can see right here, it looks like maybe Busher gets sideways underneath Jeffrey, but see, look, he's got his tires smoking. He's wide open. Look, he wide open right into the wall. It's still into the wall. He was trying to get that truck to, to go forward, but unfortunately when it turned back around and started headed to the outside wall again, all it did was hit it hard. Lots. James Busher is one of those trucks that's in danger of falling out of the top 25 in that locked in position. Red flag condition now at Martinsville Speedway for the Camping World trucks. Hey, Rick, let's look at this wreck again. Watch, I want you to notice the impact of Jeffrey Earnhardt. Watch his head inside of this truck when he hits. Look, this is even with the Hans. Watch. Mm, see how his head goes forward, that Hans device stopping his head from going any farther forward. And that, and this is the slowest racetrack that we run. You'd be hard pressed to convince Jeffrey Earnhardt of that, that there was anything slow about what just yeah. happened. The hard hit for Jeffrey Earnhardt into the outside wall. Also, James Busher in his number 31. Terminal damage to that vehicle. We'll be back with more from Martinsville.